Hey guys, my name is Chaotic, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be showcasing the brand new Karen Karuma in GTA 5 Online. So without any further ado, let's get straight into this video. So like I said, this vehicle is brand new to GTA 5 as of today, the 10th of March, with the Heist DLC update. And in fairness, this car is a very cool looking car as standard, and the vehicle I'm showing you is the civilian version. You can purchase this vehicle from the Southern San Andreas Super Autos website for a total price of $95,000, or you can also buy the second variant, this is the bulletproof version, for $525,000. Now to just clarify, you cannot purchase the Karen Karuma as soon as you download the DLC, because because you have to unlock it first, and to do that, you have to complete the first heist mission, this one being the Felica job. And once you complete all three stages, the Karen Karuma will be unlocked, and you can then purchase it from the Southern San Andreas Super Autos website for the two prices which were shown. Now as I'm sure you guys know, this car is based off the Mitsubishi Evo 10, and as I'm sure you guys would agree, it is a very nice and very cool looking car. But anyway, let's move on to customizing this vehicle. So as you can see inside the Los Santos Customs, there are loads of customizations available for it. So first First of all I fitted a carbon front splitter in the bumpers option, I then chose the chrome tip exhaust in the exhaust section, although the race exhaust also looks quite nice. I want to point out I am missing all of these sort of default upgrades, these being the engine and the armour upgrades because you guys already know what these are. But anyway, moving on to respraying this vehicle, and in all honesty, this car looks nice in just about any colour that's available from the Los Santos Customs, especially the bright colours, for example the dew yellow colour that's being displayed in the video right now, red, white and blue are all also quite nice in the vehicle but I actually went with a race yellow and as for the secondary I also chose a black but I didn't show that in the video. You can also fit a roll cage and a chassis upgrade as well, which I of course went ahead and did so. As for the skirts customization, there is a huge range of skirts to choose between, but I myself went with the body colour street skirt, one of the most basic and cheapest skirts to choose because I thought it was most fitting for this vehicle. The next customization option is spoilers, and once again there is a huge list to choose between, including a massive GT wing, which you can purchase for $15,000. But out of these, I thought the secondary colour stock spoiler was the best looking one, so I chose that one. Now as for the rims, I chose a set of the S Racer wheels that can be found in the sports section, and I chose a black wheel colour to match my secondary colour on the vehicle. And as for the wheel accessories, I chose custom tyres, and I also fitted bulletproof tyres as well. But finally, moving on to the last customization option, this one being the window tints, and I chose the Limo window tints, which are of course the darkest window tint available. So there we go, that is the Karen Karuma fully customised, and in my opinion, like I said previously, it is a very nice and very cool looking car, definitely one of my favourite ones in this new update. Being a sports car, it is a very nice car to drive, it handles well and it does have quite a good acceleration and top speed. So there we go, that was the Karen Karuma, I do hope you guys have enjoyed this video, if you could take a few seconds out of your day to click the like button, it would help me out a lot and it's also greatly appreciated. Also be sure to leave a comment on this video to let me know your thoughts about the Karen Karuma, and if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel already, I would recommend that you do, because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.